Waipa Party leader Kalonzo Musyoka presented himself at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations headquarters to record a statement following summons in an ongoing investigation over his Yata farm. The visit follows a similar one he made in January 2021 after Deputy President William Ruto accused him of grabbing the 200-acre piece of land from the National Youth Service. Today, Waipa Party leader Kalonzo Msioka was the guest at the DCI headquarters in Karura after he was summoned by DCI to clarify his acquisition and ownership of the 200-acre Yata land, which the Deputy President William Drake claimed that he grabbed from the National Youth Service. The self-proclaimed moral and ethical leader also presented legal papers showing how he acquired the land. Deputy President William Ruto has occasionally accused Kalonzo Msioka for grabbing the 200-acre piece of land during his tenure as the vice president. However, Kalonzo termed the claimed as wild and desperate propaganda as his piled pressure on Deputy President William Ruto to also appear before DCI to shed light on grabbing claims against him. In January this year, Kalonzo presented himself before the detectives to set the record straight Offer his acquisition and ownership of the Yata land. Through his lawyer James Orengo, Kalonzo filed a formal complaint against the deputy president, following him with land grabbing. In a follow up to the matter, Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu, who was at the time heading the Ministry of Land, said Kalonzo had acquired his land in a very legal way. She also accused DP Root of hoodwinking Kenyans, youth by giving them wheelbarrow after over 30 years in politics. The former vice president also labeled Root as chief land grabber, setting a case in his Rift Valley backyard, where he was once charged with land grabbing, belonging to a businessman who later won the case, and the deputy president was ordered to return his land. George Mapesa, KUTV. And now to matters politics, Gatundu South MP Moses Kuria today hit out at Rigadi Gashagwa over claim that he is bringing divisions in the UDA party. Speaking after the burial of the 